If you go to the middle of the country, people would say, um, if your conversation during a presidential election is about some guy wearing a dress and whether he, she, or it can go to a, and, and go to the locker room with their daughter, that's not a winning formula for most people. They care about health care, they care about education, they care about safety and all of those kinds of things. And some of these social issues that, and it's not just the American government, the EU government does it as well, uh, we're focusing on a lot of things that have little relevance to people who are trying to live in a world that is changing because of technology and communications and, and things like that. And so um, you can understand where somebody like Trump comes from. Uh, you can understand, if you take a look at the Democratic Party, they are so far left that two years ago there was nobody on their side uh, that would take these positions. And mm -hmm. today, virtually all of the candidates for president of the Democratic Party have uh, been so progressive. I don't know what progressive means, uh, but they are uh, in a place where some of the American public is and remains to be seen whether a majority of the electorate pub of the elected public or of the electorate is. You think about it. We, the intelligentsia, people who could make it into this room, um, we believe in a lot of things in terms of equality and protecting individual rights that make no sense to the vast bulk of people. They're not opposed to you having some rights, but there's a fundamental disconnect between us believing the rights of the individual come first and the general belief around the world, I think it's fair to say, that the rights of society comes first. And so um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the, uh, the bathroom issue in, in, in the United States. Anybody know what I'm talking about? If you want to know, is somebody a good salesman, give them the job of going to the Midwest and picking a town and selling to that town the concept that some man wearing a dress should be in a locker room with their daughter. If you can sell that, you can sell anything. I mean, they just look at you and they say, what on earth are you talking about? And you say, well, this person identifies his or her gender as different than what's on their birth certificate. And they say, what do you, what do you mean? You're either born this or you're, or you're born that. Um, and, you know, I will say in our prison system in New York City, we have to have the policy when you walk in, you know, drop your trousers, you go this way, you go that way. That's it, because you can't sit there and you can't mix things in a jail. That's a practical case of where you have to make a decision. But it's so many things that we are nuanced and um, the issue, the social issues that we're very proud of uh, of achieving aren't, believing, aren't believed by the vast bulk of the people. I got something important wrong. I got something important really wrong. I didn't understand that back then, the full impact that stocks were having on the black and Latino communities. Family politics is so difficult. <laughs> it is my pleasure to give these Made in New York awards to the prize of Flushing. In alphabetical order, Bob and Harvey Weinstein. Thank you very much.